Ahoy hoy and welcome to the video. I'm Dr. Sumerian, not a real doctor, and today we're going to go over dank memes from the dank memes from Site19 subreddit. Let's get right into it with FanboyX27. DJ Cactus, Procedure 110 Montauk is a bedtime story. Nice argument, DJ. Why don't you back it up with a source? My source is I made it the f*** up. Actually, I'm probably going to have to bleep that out because you're not supposed to use curse words in the first 30 seconds of a video. Um... <laughs> But yes, making things the uh, F up are part of how um, it's kind of how fiction works. Procedure 110 Montauk as a bedtime story or not a bedtime story is made the F up. So, you know, uh, <laughs> sorry. I mean, I get it, though. It's pretty funny. I made it up. Yeah, just like 110 Montauk was made up. 110 Montauk exists. I'd like to see a source. Uh, my sources, I made it. <laughs> it's the same thing. Uh, next meme is by Gregory Carpin. One hour on Earth is seven years here. Thank God. Now I have time to finish all those drafts for the wiki. I, you know, I, uh, Gregory Carpin is a, uh, is an, uh, is an actual author on the SCP wiki that I know of. I, some of these other people might be, and I just don't know. Um, but I recognize the name. And, uh, I mean, everyone's got a different process, but there's a reason why I only work on run one draft at a time. I, fi I do a draft and I finish it or throw it out. I very rarely throw it out, but I do sometimes throw them out. And yeah, yeah, no, uh, a lot of people don't do that. A lot of people will work on one draft and then they'll switch and then they'll work on something else and they'll work on something else. I've always been of the minor. I got to I got to power through one thing or else like I'll never get anything finished, which is exactly <laughs> A lot of these people who do multiple drafts always complain about never being able to finish things. The off-site fandom. Anything after Series 3? I'll ignore that. I actually don't mind this so much since the majority of my SCPs are in Series 3. I've done uh, an SCP in every series at this point. From 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5, 6, and to probably 7 when 7 comes out. Um, But... Uh, <laughs> So, so it's like, fine, be that way. I don't actually think anything after Series 3 is accurate. It's more like anything after Series 2, and for some people, anything after Series 1. Uh, but to be fair, old Series 3 stuff is starting to become more uh, mainstream in the off-site community. Oh, this is by Handsome Gengar. I should remember, I'm, I'm going to get this right. I'm not going to get it at the beginning of the memes necessarily, but I'll remember, to remember it before we get through with them. Uh, Offsite fandom does tend to skew towards the earlier stuff, but there, there's nothing wrong with that. Most authors, I can't really, be I can't believe I really made it. They love my story. Plus two hundred and seventy discussion thirty two, <laughs> me plus forty nine discuss one thirty one. This one's by Othello the sequel. Um, I'm gonna assume has had some experience with writing on the SCP wiki or else. They would know this feeling. Uh, I think all of us has been there at one point or another where you're like, aha, highly controversial SCP. That makes me happy. Um, it's funny because every time it happens, the, someone will be like, is this the most controversial SCP there's ever been? No. See, the problem is, is that controversial SCPs tend to swing. So plus plus 49 is probably be probably be on not necessarily but probably be on the scope of a swing that would make it get deleted but with very controversial articles they tend to go up and down by high margins depending on the day right if they drop below negative 10 on a particular day now uh, they can get deleted off the site because of the site policy on how voting works now there's a strong def well, it should say it's 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 worse as it gets lower for, for a variety of reasons but there's a chance that the next day if it had lasted another 24 hours it could go up to plus 12 plus 20 plus 10 plus anything um but it doesn't get to that point it doesn't get to last that long so controversial articles tend to disappear i had an article that lasted for about a month at zero uh and i think it probably had about 100 comments on it um definitely had over 200 people voting on it which i thought was an interesting balance uh <laughs> uh normally i would have deleted it for just just for the sake that it wasn't very highly rated and it was uh, you know it could trend either way uh but what i ended up doing was i left it up because so many people complained at me about it uh the more that people would complain the more i was like i'm definitely keeping up but after about a month month and a half uh people kind of forgot about it because that's what happens uh and i no longer had the endorphin rush of pissing people off 
Uh, this one is a shoulder meme. I believe the next three, this one and the next two are also uh, shoulder memes. SCP personnel panicking when a fuck ton of anomalies appears suddenly because there was an SCP wiki contest. Uh, there is thought on that with the, especially with the pataphysics way of looking at the SCP wiki as like some sort of out of out of, uh, not in I should say in character power, you know. Uh, but the idea that a wiki contest creates the anomalies is uh, actually kind of an interesting thought. Welcome back. I see you made an email without numbers. You are now welcome to enter the SCP. Wait, is that a hotmail address? Apologies. I can't let you enter this time either. Uh, yeah, eh, his wiki dots messed up. Uh, they're going to get it right, or we're going to switch off, especially with the way the wiki died the last time around, which bring, brings us back to this. There were a lot of memes about this. I tried to pick one. Um, SCP fans seeing wiki dot SCP wiki go down, meaning they will have to go out and socialize or something instead. Uh, there, there was a little bit of that. There was also uh, there was a meme that I didn't include here, but I, but it was pretty because, uh, again, it was covering the same topic. But um, it was about how uh, you, you never realize how often you check the SCP wiki <laughs> until until it's not there. And it's sort of true. First day for sure. And after after the first day, it wasn't as bad. But for the first day, it was like you would click. You'd get the error page and then you'd click you'd click back to open up a new tab. And then you'd click it again. Maybe not you, but I was definitely doing this. And you'd be like, what did I expect in the last 16 seconds? Was something, <laughs> something seriously different going to change? Oh, but yeah, no, uh, it's an experience. You know, people build their build uh, their social lives sort of around uh, the SCP wiki in a sense. A lot of people uh, aren't really comfortable. I'm not saying I'm definitely not one of them, but uh, a lot of people I've, I've met plenty of people like this a lot of people aren't very comfortable socializing outside of internet spaces so the scp wiki has given them a community with which to socialize uh, but i honestly don't think the wiki is necessary for that wiki dot or the scp wiki is sort of like the focus point and if it were gone long term like over a few months i think the community would probably die down around it but there's discords there's ircs there's you know twitter there's everything surrounding it that i think would keep going for keep going like a zombie for a little while and then it would just disappear um but yeah i mean it's not uh, I mean, we know it's coming back we know if it doesn't come back that there's going to be a replacement very shortly probably might take a month or two but you never know uh, so it's not even really a big worry. It's just a matter of waiting to see exactly which solution happens because it's going to get solved. Anyway, that's it. I, I know I said I was going to do a video, by the way, about the details of what exactly happened uh, with the SCP Wiki being down for about four or five days. But uh, I have absolutely no more information now than I did before. So I guess if I do make a video, it's just going to have to be a bunch of speculation, which is my least favorite way of doing things. But people... <laughs> You know, you can't get rid of the uh, the questions just because you don't answer any of them. Uh, anyway, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the subscribe button and then hit the notification bell next to that so you're notified when I upload new videos. And hopefully this Thursday, if I can get around to it, I'm going to do the video that I was going to do when the wiki went down, which is... Um, uh, explaining stuff about how SCP-173 is a good example of how a short article can get away with being much worse than a long article. Uh, but yeah, we'll talk about that on Thursday if I uh, manage to get it done. It may end up being a reading depending on how I'm feeling and how much work I can get done in the meantime. Uh, and head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has, including Sinjariki, who has pledged at $100. dollars um, we have a new month coming up, so if this is not Tuesday, but Wednesday that you're watching this, give a consideration to uh, pledging on the, on the Patreon. Because if you pledge today on Tuesday, technically, you would have to pay today and then tomorrow again. Uh, but yeah, if it's Wednesday, give it, a, give, it a, give it a thought. I would very much appreciate it, because seeing my Patreon numbers go down has, over the last X number of days, has been a little bit troubling, but not too bad. Thanks for letting me know I'm not alone out here, and I will see you all again on Thursday.